Hey guys, Patriot here, and I might need your help in figuring out what I need to decide. So, um, for those people who don't know, I recently um, are, is having a problem with my laptop, and I can already see that it's gonna die soon. Not really, really soon, but it's always showing its age. It's like five years now. And from what I understand, alien laptops usually last like an average of five year lifespan. And it's already getting there. Or it's already there. Literally. So, basically here's what I'm deciding. I have three options to pick. And I'm not sure which one to pick. So maybe you guys have an idea about this and maybe you might help me out. You know? Yeah? Well, okay, let's get started. So, the first option that I have here is a Razer laptop most likely the Razer stuff, I believe, that gives me the ability to have a separate, um, you know, the like a separate power. Um, that is called like an uh, like an external like a, an external graphics card that's separate from the main system, which is the laptop, and it's called the Razer Core. So, um, next one is gonna be a Alien where amplifier and I actually did most research for this one that is before I discovered that there was op other options and basically it does the same thing but it does have some limitations on what it can do versus the razor but like the razor it too has its own limitations um, one of the one of the limitations with the alienware thing is that uh, from what I understand it doesn't use the GPU of the laptop itself, and it uses something else. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like uh, I'm still gonna look that up more. Um, this thing though, it does, but then it's only limited to like eight um, megabytes of memory. So I don't know what the case of that is. Um, so okay, I got two options here, and I, um, both of them has their advantages and disadvantages. But the one that might take it all is the Asus. Um, I don't even know how to call it. It's called GX2 Station with a. You may even notice it's not even a laptop. It's actually a tablet. The tablet is called the Transformer 3 Pro. So, um, here's gonna be my plans for all of this. Well, from what I understand, the Asus um, GX2, whatever it's called, um, notifies all the stuff that the Razer and the amplifier wants to offer. It doesn't have all the negatives versus no stuff. The only problem is that it's not yet released. They're still working on it and I have no idea when it's gonna be released. And that's what I'm trying to decide. I got three options. Razor Blade and the amplifier, Alien Bear Amplifier and the Aces um, GX2. And uh, I'm the, okay so let me tell you the scenario as to what's going on. Number one College life is coming soon for me, so that's exciting. Uh, but all, but that also means that I need a portable laptop or a notebook or a tablet I'm gonna have to bring to school or you know to college and stuff. So I need that portability. Um, that's where I'm deciding. Um, that's when I, that's when I am deciding for the Razer stuff, the Alienware stuff, and the Asus stuff. Um, the disadvantage of the Alienware is that it's only it's only compatible for Alienware devices, so I cannot combine it with any other laptops if I want to, if I wanted to. But of course, I'm already w using an Alienware device, so maybe I should just dedicate all my stuff to just Alienware, you know, just uh, Alienware mastery. So, oh no, we're gonna have that talk again. Um, instead of consoles, it's gonna be laptops. Um, the Razer, though, it is compatible, from what I understand, it is compatible for other laptops, um, but why should I do that? Um, the stealth, um, the stealth version of this um, looks light enough for me to use it. It's light enough, and look, it looks, you know, it looks beautiful and slick. It kind of already, like in other words, like I don't even need to worry about its compatibility. Like I don't even need the, the core, the Razer core, to be compatible with other stuff because the laptop itself looks good enough. So why should I be worried about that? But then this is where the Transformer comes in uh, with the GX2. Um, just think about this. 
a tablet. This is a tablet. And from what I understand, um, you can't literally connect this with this. This is its version of the external graphics card thing, but I think it does more than that. Uh, from what I understand, all of this have like extra USB ports that you can connect with. I'm not sure about this one, but I know this thing does and this one as well. And literally, this is what it does. The best case scenario is I can use the tablet and bring it with me to, to college. And I can do all the college stuff that I need on the tablet. And then when I come home, I can attach it to the GX too. And there's gonna be a, it's gonna be a beast. Technically, that's like the, the dream plan, but of course, I don't know if it's even gonna keep that promise. But you know, uh, I'm not gonna doubt this company because I actually don't know the company that well. Like, um, just tell me how good the company is. Maybe I might stay away from Asus. Maybe it's just you know, maybe it's just big talk, and I don't really know about that. Maybe that's where you guys come in and trying to help me about it. But you know, like um, I don't know. But the way how it says, but the way how they're saying it so far is that. Unlike this two, where it replaces the graphics card literally, um, actually I'm not even sure about this, but I think it combines it, this replaces it, this uses all of it. Oh, I could be wrong actually, like again, this is just quick research I'm deciding, um, the long run I'm gonna do more research of it, obviously, but yeah, um, the dream plan is, I take this to college, I go home, I plug it to this baby, and I will literally have like i'm not sure if it's gonna work but i plan on getting a separate keyboard with a separate monitor all designed for the high-end stuff all of it being run by this little tablet attached to this keyboard on this side laptop i mean keyboard on this side and monitor on this side it can give me the same experience as this too without the necess without the necessity of being limited to just alienware and without being limited to just 8 megabytes so this thing could be the one that I might, might be looking for but of course I'm not even sure if it's gonna deliver that promise again I don't know that much of the company so maybe you should go look that up guys and help me out on this and I'm not even sure if the tablet is a good idea like but it is very very light so that will help me a lot in the long run and if it, and if the laptop breaks it's only a, I mean, if the tablet breaks, it's only a tablet. It's small. If it breaks, I can easily replace it. This thing is the one that needs protecting. And I can do that. It'll be safe in the house. This thing can break all I care. And I might and I can easily replace it with this one. Um so yeah, and again, this thing runs in Windows 10. I don't like Windows 10, but either way, all of this will be running Windows 10. So if I'm gonna go to Windows 10, might as well use the tablet, right? But of course, I can go with the one that I have right now, which is an Alienware. Um, I am not, most likely, the laptop that I'm using right now, guys, um, the one that I'm using to do all this recording, I will most likely keep it um, until it breaks. So, I will keep this laptop, and I plan on doing something where I will use this laptop for streaming, and I will use this laptop to, you know, um, play the games. The reason why, Adrian, why don't you just buy this one and forget about a laptop? Well, the reason is because the laptop that I have right now is kind of almost dying. So I can't really just rely on this upgrade to say, oh, everything's fixed. Oh, wait, my laptop is now dead. And rip in peace. So I can't really rely on that. And again, this thing's only compatible for Alienware devices, so I have to keep that in mind. This thing, I could, you know, I can just buy this th with the stealth laptop itself, or I can buy a completely cheaper laptop, like a Note, like a Google Chrome. Like, from what I understand, this thing is compatible for all of those. The only dis the only disadvantage is that this thing is only, like, it will only reach a maximum of eight megabytes. Like, um, if I'm gonna go get this, I might as well go for 16 megabytes for, or 32 for Pete's sake. So, yeah, see what I'm dealing with here. Um, so the, here are my choices. These two are currently available right now. This is not yet available. I have no idea when it's gonna be released. I think this is available right now, but this thing, I have no idea when I'm gonna release it. So, is it gonna be updated when it gets re um, released? I don't know. Hopefully not. 
And but uh, but you know it's upgradable, so you know that's a thing. But uh, how far can it be upgraded? I don't know. Um, same goes for all of this. So yeah, guys, what do you think? Should I? What should I pick? Should I pick the Razor, the Alienware, or the Asus? Or is there an option that I'm not aware of? Maybe you know something that I don't know. Like obviously, um, you can just say eight feet. Why not just build your own laptop? Um, I don't have experience on that. Um, I could easily hire someone on that, but then I'm trying to decide. I can I technically can attempt to try and build my own laptop from scratch. Um, but is there like oh I think there is. I'm not sure what it is though. Like I need to do more research on this. But I mean, from what I understand, I think there is a external graphics dock that or station dock whatever that is not um that is like um on on like it doesn't like basically like um it can do the same thing with this thing but again i am not fully aware with any of them and i'm thinking about portability like again the lap in not in in the end the laptop does not need to be strong it needs to be just compatible to do all the stuff that i need to do in college life what matters is the stage is the graphics docking station. This ones, this is the ones that I'm thinking about, because this will be the ones that I will be. Will, I will rely on this to stream stuff, and to you know um, when we get some new you know new titles, IPs and stuff. These things will be able to upgrade and catch up. So that's gonna be the plan. Um, basically, um, all I'm saying is I need the device itself, the laptops, to be cheap as possible. But still capable of doing all the stuff that I need to do college work, and compa and these things have to be beefy as hell. The amplifiers, the cores, the 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 GX stations, whatever they're called, and I don't even know anymore. Strong enough and upgradable enough to be compatible for all of this stuff. So that's what I'm deciding. Um, what do you guys think? What should I do? Um, yeah, um, I need some help here. Um, thank you for watching. Oh.